Our business is in Islamic fashion, Islamic consultancy, business development and event management. Our services are driven by innovation, quality, expertise and total customer satisfaction. Our vision is to be the number one Islamic business entity in Nigeria with international reputation. We serve as sole representative and distributor of top Islamic international fashion brands in Nigeria, United States and the United Kingdom. Our online store is the first Islamic online retail store in West Africa, offering consumers the convenience of ordering top and quality Islamic international clothing brands from the comfort of their homes. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa ala wa My name is Latifat Abdul Majid Isa and I'm very pleased to welcome you to another episode of the Muslim Identity segment of the IBT TV show. Inshallah, as we are aware yesterday, our sister Aziza Muhammad took us on uh, the preparation for Itikaf. Today, Inshallah, she's going to continue from where, we, from where she stopped. Please stay tuned. Now, let's look at the checklist for Itikaf. These are the items that you must have during Itikaf to minimize your going in and out of the masjid. First are your basics. You should come along with some money with which to buy your essentials during Sahur and Iftar. And also, you come along with a flashlight because the light can go off at any time at the masjid. The next thing you should bring along during Itikaf are your clothings. Always remember to come with an extra pair of clothes, either two sets or three. For men, remember your shirt, your tops, your trousers, your socks. And for women, remember to always come with an extra baya, an extra hijab, and of course, a pair of socks. Then, you must come with things for your personal care. You should come with your toiletries, such as your soaps, your towels, your toothbrush, or a siwak, or a miswak, that you chew and stick. Then you come with a comb or brush, and then of course you can come with a shampoo, so as long as it is not a perfumed shampoo. For your requirements for sleeping, you come with your sleeping bags containing your blankets, your pillows, and then um, a bread spread for your bed. For your health, especially for people who have health issues, for example, if you're asthmatic, never forget to go with your inhaler. For utensils, you come with your plastic forks and spoons, or disposable cups, disposable bowls, or you come with your cups and bowls and make sure you wash after every use. And of course, you can come with a sealable bag. Now we have the Ziploc bags where you can store any item that you need to keep left over during the times of fasting. And of course, for the most important reason while you're here, we have religious items with which you must come with to complete your itikaf. You must come with your Quran, which inshallah you should recite during the times of your fasting and even after the fasting at times of the night. You should come with books to read. I'm not talking of romance novels, I'm not talking of action and fiction novels, no. I'm talking of Islamic books that would enhance your knowledge of the deen. Then you can also come with a dua list. Whom do I pray for? What do I pray for? What do I need Allah to give me this Ramadan? Make sure to make that list. And finally, you should also come with the intention to study because believe me, you, when you're in the midst of people, you can never leave them without learning one thing. Besides that, if there is any other thing you must add to this list that I have not mentioned, please remember to do so. I believe that with this checklist, you wouldn't be left stranded in the masjid while you're performing your itikaf. Thank you very much for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, we have come to the end of another very educating episode. We thank our sister Aziza Muhammad for a beautiful edition of the topic. Inshallah, stay tuned with us as we provide more interesting topics for your viewing pleasure. Assalamu alaikum.